Hey, what's going on guys? Kurosama here. And today I got a new shipment in. It is the high grade P Bandai Varguil. This is a beautiful high grade. It's uh, pretty much almost exactly like the Moon Gundam, uh, really just a minus a couple of parts here and there. So for the most part, I'm actually gonna be all about it because if you see my Moon Gundam review, you will know that I basically love that kit as well. So without further ado, let's check out the unboxing. So with the unboxing out of the way, we have the kit completed right in front of us. And honestly, this kit is fantastic in every way. I don't really have many bad things I can say about it. It just looks amazing. If you know the build process was great, the colors are great, accessories are cool. It's the Moon Gundam, just a little bit tweaked. So with that, I mean, it's gonna be all around positivity when it comes to this review. On a side note, I do wanna mention that I'm not gonna be doing any kind of articulation in this video because of the fact that I've already done it with the Moon Gundam. And like I mentioned, this kit is basically the Moon Gundam just tweaked. So you can go ahead and check out the Moon Gundam for articulation. Otherwise, I'm just gonna be doing some comparisons with this and the Moon Gundam. I'll do like some detail shots and give my overall initial thoughts. I'll give you some good poses and that's gonna be about it. So so let's go ahead and take it away. So we're starting off in the review. Here is everything that the kit is going to come with. And it's going to be an excess of moon parts. So if you want to use these for any kind of customs or something, you definitely can. Now the Varguil is going to be sporting a violet, yellow, black, and gray color scheme, which looks amazing. And it's only enhanced by the little caution stickers that's going to be on the shoulders, as well as the knees. And it, I love it. I honestly think this kit has the color scheme down to a point. So we take a look at the head sculpt. This is looking beautiful. It is going to be a new head sculpt, by the way. The only thing that just makes me not so excited is going to be the fact that it has a mono eye that doesn't move. It's just going to be a sticker placed wherever you want on that flat, or I guess curved, black piece. It's unfortunate, but it is going to have some really cool antennas right here. Uh, other than that, it's just a really nice design that it, it's, it's pretty intimidating for a mono eye suit. So we're looking at the backpack, the only main thing that's going to be different with this is going to be the funnels as well as the fuel tanks. Uh, the core backpack itself is going to remain the same as the Moon Gundam. The fuel tank is going to be on ball joints so they can move around. And the fuel tanks is going to be on a ball joint system right here. And then this part is going to be on a peg. So you can really have a good range of movement and just readjust them how you like. And you can also open up the funnel racks so that way you can easily pull it out, but uh, even if it's closed, you can still pull it out without any issues. Now the funnels themselves are going to be very tiny. You are gonna have the little barrel right here, which has a very small port, so if you're gonna put a beam saber in there, you might have to shave the peg a little bit to plug it in there for that beam effect. Now the back of it is actually going to be somewhat of a peg, 
And that's unfortunate because if it was more of a female port, then I can plug things in there, like like the effect parts, like figure eyes effects, and I can have actual like thrusters coming out. But with this, you're gonna have to do a little bit mining or find a female to female part adapter, so that way you can plug in some of those effects to the back of the funnel. Now, if you wanna plug this kit into a stand so that way you can do some pretty awesome poses, you're going to have to get this stand and plug it in right here. Now for weapons, he is going to have the beam rifle with a trigger finger hand. Now it also has the beam tomahawk which can be stored in the backpack. And the beam effect part is going to be molded so beautifully. So if you are going to paint it, I mean you can definitely do some like inner lighter colors here as well as darken the outside. And lastly, you are going to have the butterfly edge with the beam effect parts. Really beautiful weapon. You can have it you know, rotate however you want it. You can make it like as if he's throwing it or he can just keep it into the forearms. And here are the two back to back. Now you're probably asking yourself which one is gonna be the better buy. I would honestly go with Moon Gundam only because it is more accessible and it's cheaper than the Varguel. So it's, it's really up to you, but that would be my honest answer. Now I do love both and that's why I bought both because I think that they look amazing. Uh, the Moon Gundam is just really a good purchase because it's not relatively expensive like you could probably get it for like what 25 bucks or less whereas the varguel is going to be going anywhere up to probably like 60 dollars if you're overseas i me being in japan i paid 40 bucks for it which is pretty high of a price for a high grade but regardless they are going to look amazing and i love both either way so for my final thoughts Honestly, this kit is borderline perfect. The only con I can really think of is going to be the mono eye. You're not able to really move it. Instead, they give you an extra piece, whether intentional or not, so that way you can place a second uh, mono eye sticker on it. And if you want to position it to the left or right or whatever, you can do that, but you're gonna have to take apart the head and then put that one piece back in. So that really is unfortunate. I really wish they could have just made you a lot, well, allowed you to move the mono eye back and forth, much like they did with the Zaku kits. Maybe another con, not really so much, is that it doesn't come with like solid fists. The fists are gonna have that little hole in the middle, so that way you can you know, plug in attachments or uh, accessories. That's unfortunate, I mean it's good, but it's also unfortunate that we don't have any solid fists like I've seen a lot of other model kits have in the past. Now the funnels also cannot plug into anything like effect parts, so it's really unfortunate, but I know it's pretty much a part of the design, so it's not a fault of Bandai not making it work, that's just how the design is. Now for the pros, it's honestly everything. Uh, much like I've felt with the Moon Gundam being one of the best high grades to date, I really do feel the same way with this. It's not better or worse than the Moon Gundam. You can argue that because the Moon Gundam has the psycho plates, it's a lot better, but it's really your preference. Funnels is really cool. Psycho plates is really cool. Some people don't like mono eyes. Some people like, you know, the Gundam head. It, it's really up to you, but it basically comes with all the same things, just minus the colors, head, backpack, and the funnels, obviously. So if you ask me if you should buy this kit, 
I would I would definitely push you to buy it. It's it's probably gonna be a little bit pricey for a high grade. Uh, I bought mine for about forty bucks. So for some people overseas, they're going to be you know paying around like forty five, maybe even upwards of sixty dollars. So it can be a little bit pricey, but I would say if you can get it for less than sixty dollars, it's absolutely worth the purchase. So. That's it for me, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. If you do have any comments or questions, please put them down in the comment section below, and I'll get to them in an orderly fashion. But that's it for me. I'll be seeing you guys in the next review. Bye-bye.